Hello and welcome to the My Menagerie YouTube channel and today we'll be reviewing the Monster High Sculptimate Secrets Claudine Wolf doll. The front of the box was designed by a well-known uh, Monster High artist called Darko. He's done the art for a few lines like Sculptimate Secrets as well as the core series Wave 2 for Claude and Abby uh, as well as some newer dolls like uh, the Hair Play Laguna. The Sculptimate Secrets line are like a little escape room boxes shaped in shaped as coffins. Um, you're supposed to unlock the first one and get a key, and it opens up four other locks that have little accessories inside. Um, you should know what they are based on the stock images, but it is a little fun experience. Um, on the back, it's the art, other art by Darko. Uh, all of the work is stunning and great. Unfortunately, when I did open up the box, the hinges on the locked doors just fell off. Um, the first two, the purple and pink ones, they were not attached to the doors at all. Um, that was kind of disappointing. And I ended up not doing the color change water key feature to that allows you to open up the doors based on the color. Um, you actually don't need the keys to open them up. You can just turn the side and they pop open. But it would have been a fun little experience to do. This Claudine doll comes with crimped hair, which I really, personally, really like. Um, the current outfit that she came with is not really my favorite. The top doesn't match the bottom. They did include a piece that is similar to the shorts that she's wearing, and I ended up uh, switching that out for that green top. The inside of the coffin is really great, and it's, I've actually um, used it as a display piece in my room. There's holes on the back, and you can hang it on the wall. And I hung mine up, and Claudine just sits inside. When these stock images first came out, uh, a lot of Monster High fans were able to figure out potential future storylines based off of these images, like... Um, for instance, this one there with uh, Claudine and high-fiving someone else, we did not know it was Claude at the time, and now we know, thanks to the art, it foreshadowed it. Now I'm just going to open up the accessory boxes and show you all what uh, came inside each blind bag. Laid out here are all the accessories Claudine came with. Uh, I personally won't be needing most of these. I did keep the jacket and the hat as well as the uh, neon, that black and neon top and the earrings. Uh, the rest are just being stored in the uh, coffin. This is the final look that I picked for my Claudine Wolf and I personally really like it. Uh, Hope to get Cleo next, um, and I'm definitely excited for Series 2, because I think every ghoul on that one, like, is perfect. Thank you. Bye.